You have to think that after three attempts to destroy the world, maybe the world wants to be destroyed, right? The Umbrella Academy is back for a third go-around, saving the world from the last time they saved the world. All that world saving is really taking its toll on the team that already had troubles holding it all together. Did they finally do it? Well… After the team failed to prevent Victor from going kablooey on the moon, Number 5 tried to send them to the past and ended up scattered in Dallas in or around 1963. But uh, nothing of any importance happened in Dallas in 1963. Well, this one thing. After mucking about with that one thing, it seems that they've finally solved it and head back to 2019. Except that Reginald is still alive and has an entirely different team. Naturally, it involves manipulating his children and doing horrible things so they'll go through his portal to crazy nonsense. And honestly, who doesn't want a portal to crazy nonsense? That nonsense takes the form of a psychedelic escape room with monster samurais and a puzzle on the floor. If you get seven star babies who have grown up to be star adults to stand on the sigil, it opens up the universe's system preferences where Reginald hits factory reset, only for Rumor to take a little off the top. Despite a rather debilitating axe to the head, Reginald was able to finish whatever he was doing. All that was left was to push the shiny button. Who can resist a shiny button? Not Rumor. The button activates the reset, the world rewrites itself, the Umbrella Kids are no longer powered, all is right with the world. Oh, and uh, Reginald Hargreave is the head of a massive, massive tech company and his wife is alive. <laughs> Makes total sense. Now there are three timelines to keep track of to get to this ending. First is Victor and his tendency to go boom. Or, it can be argued, the massive issues he developed having the boom dragged out of him and then constantly getting treated like a pre-ball Cinderella. The team takes a mulligan to the early 60s, which just turns out to not only be another chance for Victor to go kablooey and trigger an apocalypse, but also gives him a chance to spread the kablooey around. Victor starts up a relationship with a woman named Sissy and ends up saving her young boy. That boy, Harlan, takes destroying the world up a notch by trying to reach out to Victor when his mom dies, but reaches a little too hard and ends up killing 27 of the women meant to get instant pregnancies, and the grandfather paradox that kablooies all of reality. Take that, stupid reality. <clears throat> the uh, second set of timelines to track is Five. Five is the one who comes back to stop the apocalypse, as well as convince everyone that he's there to stop an apocalypse. He's doing that as a rogue agent of the Commission, which he loathes, and also created. Some version of Five saw the cascading problems of mucking about with time and created the Commission to keep track of things. It's like a more surreal Time Variance Authority. Then there's the most important one, Reginald Hargreaves. None of this happens without him. My children. On Reginald Hargreaves' home planet, his beloved wife is dying. This is when he hatches his circuitous plan. He releases the sparkles that have been associated with the birth of the babies and the use of their power as adults. He's chosen Earth because on Earth there is a portal to reality's system preferences. He needs a team of superpowered people since he had already sent in regular people and it didn't work out. He needs seven because, while he's not exactly sure, he needs exactly seven to unlock access to the machine. His first attempt fails because Hargreaves hadn't factored in that raising kids is not particularly easy, especially when you're training them to unlock the device that unlocks reality. He gives it another go by faking his own death to bring the family home in the hopes of having them prevent an apocalypse. Instead of stepping into oblivion, they try… failing. After failing, they go back to 1963 where they meet pre-Super Baby Hargreaves who sees that the team he picked wasn't going to work out. Thanks to Harlan thinning the field, he assembles a new team and decides to fast-track them against Pogo's objections. So where does that leave our not-quite-heroes? More or less, at the end of their arc. There is the question of if there was no magic space dust making someone go through pregnancy in a minute, what parents are the surviving members going to find? But that might be a mystery we have to live with. Comic creator Gerard Way has a pretty time-consuming side hustle as a recording artist and member of My Chemical Romance. Combine that with the completion of the arc, and it seems like that might be it for the Umbrellas on Netflix. Now, despite the W in this series, it's possible that Hargreaves is terrible at his job. 
When convincing Five to hear him out, he talks about the several worlds he watched being destroyed, and somehow that wasn't a giant red flag for Five. But to be fair though, Hargreaves is nothing but red flags.